hello there welcome back so i am on the desktop so let's create a folder which is going to organize our files okay so for creating a folder just right click on your desktop go to new and click on folder and you can see there's new folder so rename it to css image filters okay so now we got our folders and here is the images we are going to use in this project okay so let's click it and open it and now you can see these all are images we are going to use in this project okay so actually these images is from my favorite uh, movie that's called ice age okay so these all are the characters of that movie so this is really so awesome characters i really love them so that's why i picked them to use it in this project okay so close it and now just click it and drag it to css image filters okay and now images in inside of CSS image filters so let's move it here and let's open our curator that is bracket okay this one is I'm to going to use in this project so now you can see uh, here is already brackets comes with the demo code so this is just a getting started code so if you click on this link so it will going to give you a live preview how it look like so click on here and wait for a moment and now you can see yeah it's getting started with the brackets okay so this is just a guide and actually you if you want then you can take a look of this but really you don't need to because that's why I'm here so <laughs> just minimize it and now let's open our um, project in here well there's a lot of way let's uh, take my favorite way okay so first of all you can uh, just click here and click on open folder and then just look at folder where it's located in desktop and uh, system image filters okay I click here select folder and it will going to open you can see now it's open okay it's good. so now it's open okay and there's another way you just click it and drag it here and same process let me show you once again if I just go to this so you can see this is another folder and if I click it and drag it here it will going to show you okay so this is how you open your folder and now let's um, quickly scaffold our pages with the bootstrap okay for that let's get a file called uh, index.html index.html and a style sheet file called style.css okay and now let's visit to bootstrap for that go here go to bootstrap uh, in this project we are going to use bootstrap okay so the most awesome framework on the planet it's front-end framework okay so not get book it's get <laughs> bootstrap okay getting started click here and now you can see I'm on bootstrap page okay so this is the bootstrap uh, home page okay and you can see there's a bootstrap is the most popular HTML CSS and JS framework for the developing response mobile first project on the web and this is really true and this is so awesome front-end framework I ever used actually I used it in my lot of project okay you can see this is all our website which is built with bootstrap so this is really awesome and in this project we are going to use this okay so let's getting started and now you can see here is the bootstrap cdn cdn is simply means contain delivery network so actually this this will maximize your website performance okay so if there's a website we already using a bootstrap and they got a cdn then simply means bootstrap is already downloaded to their browser so if they visit your website then it's simply there's already downloaded so there are no need to download and it will just boost your website performance a lot okay so that's why in this project we are going to use this okay so now let's quickly scaffold our uh, page for that just go scroll down and you can see basic template go here copy it okay this is a template page and go to your creator go to index HTML and paste it here and now you can see so this is your template okay so let's uh, change this one because uh, we haven't downloaded that so we are going to use bootstrap CDN for that let's once again visit to bootstrap scroll up to bootstrap CDN and now here click it copy it and go here and just replace with this okay and here's also you can see just tab it and here's also we need to replace it for that I just put back to here and I need this one okay copy it go here and paste it now 
it's done okay so now your template is ready so let's take a live preview of that okay so our page is uh, scaffold now so just click here for live preview and wait for a moment here we go uh, you can see there's a hello world well bootstrap is not currently styling our page so this is why because we haven't add a container class of bootstrap so let's add it class container and save it and refresh it you can see now is a uh, bootstrap is controlling our page styling okay so this is really uh, cool okay so just uh, erase it and in heading to uh, let's write a css image thumbnails okay or maybe you can write a gallery but thumbnails is awesome <laughs> okay so let's make it capital okay so this is css image thumbnail and just take a live preview and you can see now its heading is changed so let's make it in center and little bit dark so bootstrap already have classes for that that is class text center for centering you can see live preview of that okay it's now centered and let's make it dark it's text sorry it's text muted okay so now you can see uh, this is center and little bit dark <laughs> okay so let's uh, add our image gallery but in the next model okay so thank you so much and see you in the next model